Good morning, folks. Lithosphere is getting active already, and we've got a full plate of top news this morning. Explanations and suspicions accompany the lot as we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star somewhat calm. Certainly no flares, but we did get a surge out ahead of the former active region. It indeed signified the breakup of that group, but for a small area at what was the leading portion. Solar wind presented a minor and brief intensification that is already waning, and geomagnetism at Earth remains calm at this time. The next significant space weather of note should be the arrival of the stream from this coronal hole. It is indeed the progenitor of this weekend's earthquake watch as well, you heard about that yesterday, and a tremendously rare 5.3 struck off the coast of LA. Very luckily it was well out to sea and the damage was minimal, but continue to have eyes open this weekend. Let's come now to the Whirlpool Galaxy, M51. Scientists were studying the fine structure of the region, and when they ghosted the image over on the right side, they began to notice a dark patch above the interacting groups. It appears here as the dark gray bit I've enclosed in parentheses. This puzzling concentration of dust may have a very, very simple explanation, but to understand it, you need to look below at the galaxies themselves. There already appears to be a good bit of wispy arms extending from the body, and if we can recall what interacting galaxies look like from different angles over time, perhaps we can see that the best explanation for that concentration of dust is that it is actually connected to the interacting bodies, and that our perspective and point of view offers us an unusual vantage point of what we'd consider normal interactions at that scale. Let's come back to Earth for a moment where the GPM has dissected Cyclone Iris, which is now weakening quickly off the coast of Australia. I would love to use that to springboard from here to the forecasted hurricane season for the United States. CSU indeed predicts an above average year in terms of hurricanes, sort of matching more or less what actually happened last year when things were forecast to be close to normal. Okay, let's come back out to space for our last two stories. Magellanic clouds have been 3D modeled, which is a cool idea given that our eyes have only ever seen the 2D version. Now what is remarkable is that if you include their excluded items, the small cloud doesn't look so small anymore, and there appears to be a polar concentration extending out and directly towards the Milky Way from both groups. I would not exclude those, especially given the fact that using some strange looking technology, each not much bigger than a van, scientists have discovered that galactic scale magnetic fields have large scale order and extend out from the galaxy like Earth's magnetosphere around the Earth. Could the Magellanic polar spikes in our direction be magnetic connections with stars like pearls on a string? And perhaps a better issue. These scientists are saying that these large-scale ordered fields are surprising in their coherence around the galaxy because the galaxy magnetic field is made by supernova. One might suggest that a better explanation of the field generation, instead involving electricity, could provide a less confusing explanation. Folks, I'm not sure if you've had the chance to see all the uploads outside of these morning shows the last two days. The prepping video seems to be hitting a tune for many of you, and then we had two evening uploads yesterday on the weather and gamma ray events in the center of the galaxy. Check them out if you missed them. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.